Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I want to talk about autism and inclusion. Now, for many years, I've been an ally for autism awareness, and I have spent a lot of time showing my support and, uh, you know, helping to raise awareness to autism. And I oftentimes run into this issue where a lot of the parents of, of the autism community or whatever word they choose to use in this case, um, they talk about inclusion and they try to make inclusion the norm for other people who are not a part of this demographic of people. And the, the issue part of that is I have spent a lot of time raising awareness to autism, and I have always shown my support to uh, that particular group of people. But it does no good to preach the gospel of, of, of inclusion when you are actively going to exclude the very people who are trying to be inclusive. That's the issue I have. I was going to talk about this in a Facebook post, but I decided not to. I opted out of that. And I thought that maybe making this video would be a little more, um, it'd be a lot more better in, in terms of explaining my position. Uh, because writing something on Facebook, sometimes it often gets misconstrued because you can't uh, see facial expression, you can't hear the tone of my voice. So when you write Facebook posts, most of the time it removes the nuance of the point you're trying to make. So... Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you want people to include your autistic children in the, in, you know, normal everyday activities, you have to stop being exclusive to the people who are in fact trying to be inclusive. You have to quit pushing away the very people who are trying to include your children. Isn't that what you want? Um, and, and I say this from personal experience. I've been blocked from a few pages on, on Facebook and I'm not here to whine or complain about it, uh, cause I'm not losing sleep. But the point of the video is that it, it just doesn't make any sense. You want inclusion for your children. We're trying to do that because that's what you're wanting. That's what you're hoping that the outcome or the result will be. However, you're also pushing away and ignoring those very people. So if you're going to preach the gospel of inclusion, try to practice what you preach. Um, you want us to include your children, but you can't include the people who are including your children. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I guess this is more of a rant video than anything. Um, I don't have any ill will or, or, you know, harbor any negative feelings towards the autism community. Like I said, I'm an ally. I will always support um, autism awareness. I'll always be inclusive. I'll always be an ally. Um, but it's just very weird or maybe very hypocritical that most of the parents who are claiming or whining or pouting or pleading for inclusion are actively pushing away the people who are trying to be inclusive. I guess that's the point of this video. I don't understand it, um, but I see this happening quite a bit. And this is not a blanket statement, by the way, for all of the parents in the autism community. Uh, I get along with a lot of the, the parents in the autism community still. And I'm not out to do any harm or danger to anybody. I'm not, I'm not out to cause harm or to pose a threat to anybody. But if you want for the, the rest of the world to include your autistic children, you got to quit making it a habit to push away the people who are trying to be inclusive. And that also goes for, well, this is what I heard about you. I, I don't care. It seems like that, that seems to be a, a common um, theme with any group of people. This is why I say that groups are dangerous, by the way. One of the reasons why groups are dangerous, because you all think alike. And that becomes a problem. Instead of going by what you heard about someone, why don't you try to get the facts? 
why don't you go to that individual and have the conversations with them? Instead of, well, I read this on Facebook, I heard that. Who cares? Go to the person who's being accused or the person in question and have a conversation with them. Um, I'm not going to do any name dropping here because that could take up a lot of time in this video. But to me, it just seems very hypocritical of parents in the autism community to preach the gospel of inclusion while pushing away the people who are trying to be inclusive. Try to be inclusive of people who are trying to be inclusive. That's all. Have a good one.